Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. It's February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody that cares. Um, it's just before noon. Uh, I got a, got a little bit early start. Uh, stuffed on off camera. I had to come in, make a couple quick mods. I, I moved this, you can see the plane's not here. I had to move the plane back into this area because it's got a little more room to work with. And it's warming up outside, so even though I got the heater on, it's, uh, it's actually pretty decent in here right now. Alright, what I did, I mounted this little plate in, and I didn't, I didn't cut out yet for the, uh, let me see if there we go, I didn't cut out yet for the, uh, the bungee cords for the suspension on the landing gear. I'm going to leave this the way it is just for now. That's something I could do at any later date. So I just, I wanted to mount this, this is the, uh, that's the fuel tank mount, there we go. That's the fuel tank mount, and then you saw that this was mounted, that's, uh, that's just the servos. The fuel, what I had to do for the fuel for the carb, um, it, because it was it was a little bit longer, I had to come in and and cut it. So I cut a, I cut a bit off. I actually did it on that end in there. But I cut a bit off, shortened it by about an eighth of an inch, re-soldered uh, everything back in, and then I came in. You might be able to see it better from this side. Sorry for dancing you around like this. What I had to do was I came in and soldered this. Solder comes all the way back to here now. And what that does is when this is in use, there's less flex in the line. Uh, because I didn't want to have to have, I wanted to have this loose. Sorry, there we go. I wanted to have this a uh, loose fitting. So if I need to pull the whole system out, I just have to take off this end where it hooks up to the, to the servo, spin it off, and then just pull the whole thing out the front. So this will be uh, uh, tacked into place probably with uh, like a contact cement just to hold it from moving back and forth and that would be good so if I need to get it out it's just a matter of just you know cutting it very gently with a uh, razor knife and then just slide it out so so we'll be good on that one I still haven't straightened out the doors yet that's going to be something I might work on later on today I have tomorrow off so but I want to get these lined up on both sides um, so that'll get taken care of. What I am doing right now, I'm going to try to get the, the front windscreen done today. Come back, coming in and measuring, I'll show you. Didn't realize this because I never measured this uh, when, I, when I was working on the plane. It goes from 285 millimeters. Yes, I'm American from Chicago and I'm using metric because I, I actually like using metric better. Unless it comes to machine work, then I like thousands. That's when I'm more imperial. But anyway, 285 thousandths here. Up here, it's 293 thousandths. So it's expanding out. And then when you get up here, it's, uh, it's, it's 298. So it's almost 300 thousandths. So it's actually it was spread out a half inch. And I, I don't know if that's done in real life or it's just the way that this set of planes is made. Because I know it does start tapering from here back. So that's why you've got the little bit of rotation. So I've got to measure that because that's got to be worked into the plans. So right now, here's here's the basics. I got to start laying this down. 285 across the back, you come up 275 millimeters, 293, and from the back all the way up to the the leading edge where the wing uh, the wing mounts they roll under. That's 330 millimeters, and that's 298. So I'll set this all up on this board and. Uh, this is stuff I got from work, and it's it's about the same thickness as what I'm putting on. So this will give me a good indication uh, of how everything's going to fit. Um, so anyway, I'll get everything set up, and then I'll show you. I'm going to use some tape. I'm going to tape lines off. This will be traced. This side over here is good. This one shows everything I need. This side's broken. There's pieces missing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything lined up because I've got to use the dirt line so you can see how you get the fade. I'm going to have to use these lines to come down um, to, to mark off of, to mark out. So the first piece will be cut big up on the top and down here and then I've just got to kind of get it to work with. So it's going to be not fun and exciting. I've done these things before. Sorry about that. I've done I've done windscreens before and they are difficult and that's when you're working with a set of drawn plans um, like on the Piper Cub they give you a template and all you do is you take the template 
and then you pretty much just tape it to the piece of uh, of Lexan or whatever you're using. I'm using PET G plastic uh, for mine, and uh, you just cut it a little bit oversized and then just sand it to fit. Whatever you know, whatever you got to do, uh, you get the Dremel out, grind. So um, this will be fun. I'm hoping I can get it on the first go because I really don't want to be uh, having to order more PET G plastic because it's it's kind of pricey. So anyway. And it won't do this. It won't turn yellow if the plane lives that long. All right, so let me let me get this set up, and I'll uh, bring you back in before I start cutting, uh, just to kind of uh, give you a little heads up on, on how I went about doing it before we do the cut, and then we do the first test finish. So I'll bring you right back. All right. Just gonna make sure to hit my head in that door. Okay, here's kind of where we're at. This and this is just a start. What I did is I took the measurements. I came in, I put some tape, made sure everything was straight across, um, and I'm going to go ahead and recheck all this again. But here's here's what you come up with. I took the I took the 285 across the back, uh, the 293 across from here, and the uh, uh, 298 across here. Things are looking a little on the funky side. I'm going to go back and check this before I do any cutting. When you take this original, I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see this. If you take the original and you line everything up the way it's supposed to be, the way it was, you'll see that you've got, it's off there and it's off here, so something doesn't seem right. Now, what I did because this, this will be useless for what I'm going to show you. We're going to need this. What I did was when I rebuilt the top, what I ended up doing, let me give you guys some more light here. Sorry about that. What I ended up doing when I rebuilt it, this was not straight. And I made it I ran it across and made it as straight as I could. Now, remember I told you that it flares out towards the towards the nose of the airplane. So what you do is you just take an angle like a like a bevel gauge, one of these little things. Um, anyway, what you're going to do? What I'm going to do is come on this side of it and slide this down because a square won't work because it flares out. So this is all lined up on this side, and then I'll take this and flip it on over. And when you flip it on over, it lines up just as well on this side. So you know that the angle has been split going out to the front. So this is true. So what I have to do is I have to go by... Whoa, he almost fell. So I have to go by the measurements that I took and put it down on this little scrap piece of uh, polystyrene. Um, so, and, and I'm, hoping, I'm hoping it's going to work. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and recheck my measurements, and then I have to add on from there, because this is the measurements of the inside, uh, not the outside of what I'm going to make. So what I'll do is I'll come out with some, uh, some more masking tape, put some masking tape down, and I can use that as a marker for I'm going to cut this piece out before I lay it down over that and we'll see how well things go so I'll bring it right back all right let me show you where we're at okay what I had to do just to let you know I had to flip it over the side that I started on that side I didn't put it high enough up the the whole front end of this was going to hang over so I had to split the difference so, all right, so I came in, instead of this being at 60 millimeters off, this ended up being at 25 just to shift the other way. I've got a line, a straight line that I can indicate off of. Um, all right, so this is all set up now. I'm going to cut on the outside of this here, so that way I'm leaving through about three eighths, uh, close to a half inch of plastic hanging off each side to put the screws in. Across the back, across the sides. Now, where it gets goofy with these things, because of the way the windshield cuts around it comes across the top and then right in here where it comes over the top it goes into a rotation 
where it's going to get attached to here so there's going to be very little covering right here and this is a this is the spot that uh, that's why windscreens on these things are very difficult because of that spot if it was a flat sheet like a windshield on your car that's a piece of cake so anyway this this side here has a better curvature to it uh, I'm not cutting right on the inside of that anyway I'm getting it set up just so that uh, I, I've got a piece that I can start cutting getting it you know 95 percent before I cut the, the pet G plastic around the bottom down here because I had to use the one good side so I traced around here you might not be able to see it but there's a little spot where instead of dropping down it kind of goes straight so I'll just I'm going to cut this large anyway because um, I left myself you know a good eighth of an inch of excess to trim off so let me go ahead and get this cut off I'm going to set you back up in the stand and then as soon as that's cut off I'll bring you out for the first testing Keep your fingers crossed. Alright, got everything trimmed up. Perfect. Alright, good. Alright, I got everything cut out. And what I had to do was the first the first little test piece I did, I, I cut this much off. It's about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, just because I needed a little bit better clearance on it. Let me focus you over this way and let's see how well I can make this work it's it's kind of goofy the way I've got to start putting everything and luckily see I put this in I'm going to use that gas filler but it works out very nice for me lining up the back while this is not popping back up again I'm trying not to tape the back down yet okay we're pretty close right there I still have more to cut off And as much as I'd like to use tape, I'm not putting tape on this. All right, this side over here, for it to roll under the way it's supposed to, I'm going to have to shorten this again. So let me go back out. I'll cut off about the same amount, and then I'll bring it back in, and then let's see how it is. All right, I cut another little thin piece off, about uh, for closer, probably closer to another sixteenth of an inch. Probably going to have to do about the same again. Yeah, we are getting close though. We're closer. Let me cut about the same amount off and I'll be right back again. Alright, another sixteenth. trim I'm going to trim this side out right here this the other side I'm not 100% sure on yet I may have to this is a these things are very very difficult to do and they can get annoying really quick let's see what happens when I trim these things out how much better they flow Alright, I got the first trim in. I'm just trying to get the polystyrene to flex a little more the way I want it to flex too. So, I, I'm because I need to run tape through the uh, through the inside of the fuselage from one side to the other to see how well it's going to fit. And as of right now, it's a little on the sloppy side. Um, let me just kind of give you a real quick peek at what I'm working with, and then uh, I'll get everything set up and uh, bring it back in okay I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this let's see if we can get you zoomed a little bit better than this 
All right, it, where the problem is is right in here. I've got it set up so that it's on the fuselage side of it. Down here, it's actually working very nicely. But what you may be able to see is this gap up here at the top. So this has to be tighter and then flare up quicker. So what I'll do is I'll glue in another piece of polystyrene flat on the back side of it and then go ahead and cut that and then let's uh, let's let's see how good it looks because the other option would be and this might just be for me if I set it up more like the way it should be I can trim this out a little bit deeper because I still have a little bit to go because I'm right about here I can bring it in a little bit closer um, so maybe I'll do that and all I'm doing is I'm just coming in with the Dremel and just just grinding it a little bit so let me do that and then uh, sorry about that uh, and then I'll, I'll make a couple more uh, sorry that better I'll make a couple more little tweaks uh, and then I'll bring it back and hopefully hopefully I can have it closer because well, this is the fun part and when I mean fun I, I don't mean fun Sometimes I feel like a politician halfway through my story. <laughs> Change my point of view. Anyway, <laughs> all right, I, I, I ran into an issue as per usual. Um, and what I had to do with, because I haven't gotten done these little add on pieces that I still have to come in and grind. The problem I was having when I was trying to fold the cheeks down around the side, it was popping up in the middle, up across the top. So I went upstairs and went, I've got a couple, there were a couple of video logs, vlogs for us, uh, for the younger kids and video logs for the older folks. Um, with the, uh, you realize that when it was screwed across the top, when it was a full, full canopy, not just up in the front, or say, let's call it the windscreen, not just up front, but down over the top too. Um, where, the rig where the regular window attached to, that this had to attach to it also and it's to keep it from humping up in the middle if you really think about it, it kind of makes perfect sense when the plane this plane was originally built this didn't have one here so I didn't know what kind of problems they were having but when I had the thing lined up let me just kind of get it somewhat lined up just to start with I can't really fold it under like I want to because until I but anyway what you do is the screws go in here, go in the back, up each side, and then across this piece here that's now solid. That's what keeps the little thing, the, when you roll the cheeks around, that's what keeps it from popping up in the middle because it had this hump. So anyway, this, you know, it's my first time doing a tailor craft. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm learning and... If you guys ever decide you want to jump off the bridge and work on one of these things, at least you guys will have an idea too. Um, but anyway, that's where this is at right now. I still have to go ahead and paint this. It's got to be painted. Um, so I'll paint that before I you know, start drilling holes in it. But if I can, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and almost need to run a couple screws into it and just make sure that the screws are going back on the piece that I make exactly where this one is um, because in order to really figure out what this thing's going to need to do I can't throw tape on here because you know I, I don't trust this paint you know as far as I can throw it um, so anyway let's just say it came like this if I really wanted to I could put one screw in the center on the back and one screw in the center right here that's so this just loosely holds everything in place while I can work and see what needs to be done uh, on the sides it's, as much as I want to do that, I probably won't. Um, I may just uh, get some assistance from uh, a friend of mine, Paul, Larry, John, uh, to come on over just to help me hold this thing in place. Um, so the problem is, is that by the time I edit this video and they see it, this will already be done. So I'm just going to have to call them on the phone. So, uh, so anyway... Um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on this right now. I'm going to keep plodding along. Once I get those little things ground in, uh, I, can see, uh, I, I can see how well it's going to fit, and then I'll kind of bring it back. I think I may be able to raise the tail up. 
I raise the tail up to get it level, I can put a piece of flat board on the top with some weight. Maybe I'll do that just to see if I can hold it down so I can get a pretty good idea and show you guys. But I'll just have to raise the tail. So I'll go get the, uh, the DLE 55 box and uh, a couple towels and raise it up. So, All right, let me go and uh, get everything taken care of and see what I need to start grinding out on these things. And then uh, we'll just we'll take it from there. Be right back. I have a floating head. Awesome. Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. It's Thursday morning, probably about 10 or 11 o'clock. There he is. I'm not going to name who it is. He's probably got a worn out for his arrest too. All right, here. I actually got the assistance from Mr. Paul Urquhart on this one today. I, I could not get this done by myself. It was just, it was, you needed multiple hands on it. All right, so this is about 90%. As you can see, I had to, with that piece of wood that I put across, I had to run a screw through it. Uh, you could not get this thing to stop wandering on you. So there's a couple little changes that still need to be tweaked out, but this is about 95% of what you would have if I was putting together uh, the clear one. So it's getting us close. Uh, this little arc right here, that'll be taken care of. Uh, when I draw out the template for it, that'll be, uh, I'm, I'll make some room for that one. I'm gonna walk around and take pictures of this so I know what I'm working with. This will sit flush on the side, it's just that it's a little bit long and the tape is allowing it to slide forward. So it will actually sit like that. So this side we're pretty good on. This, I still want to move this back a little bit, so I'm going to have to do some tweaking on this. And this side, it does match up very nicely. It should be a little bit longer. So this, I'm going to drop it about another eighth of an inch around and blend it into this turn right here. And then, of course, it needs to be longer on this side, too. Um, but this actually has a halfway decent curve up here, too. I'm about an eighth inch shy here, and then it goes up. So... It's sitting pretty good. I, I knew it was going to be more than a one day. Ooh, sorry about that. I knew it was going to be more than a one day uh, job because it's, it's, if you have a template set up on the plans, it's a good place to start. We didn't have it on this. We had uh, uh, the original cover itself was not that very well done. I mean, you guys saw from the, all, the, all the little waves in it. So, um, but anyway. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Now it's just time to go upstairs and get some of the clear plastic and uh, use a lot of tape and hope and pray. So when I get the uh, clear plastic down here, I'll bring you guys back in just so you can see how, uh, how things progress from here. <laughs> 